Well, that intersection here at Albany Avenue and Trout Brook Drive along with King Philip Drive is now back open. Now, I won't say it's open in all directions because it's just not quite there yet. It's open in most directions. Now, very specifically, King Philip Drive is still closed just in the northbound direction. If we want to show why that is, it's because the semi truck involved in this accident is still sitting here. The tow truck arrived a few minutes ago, but they are still working on actually clearing this this part of the scene and that is why King Philip Drive is still closed. But again, just in the northbound direction, you can see the cars coming by it easily on the other side. Now, this is all because an hours long closure happened between that truck there and a CT transit bus. West Hartford police say around five o'clock this morning, the bus and semi truck collided. There's no word on who's at fault or how that crash happened. Officers say when first responders arrived, they found the bus driver trapped in his seat with his legs pinned due to the damage. Firefighters used the jaws of life to pry him out of of the bus and he was taken to the hospital for serious but not life threatening injuries. Police say he, he was the only person on that bus. There were thankfully no passengers inside. WHPD says the driver of the semi is unharmed as well. Police cannot confirm if black ice played a factor in the cause of the crash, but say it was an issue here at the scene. Personnel working around uh, the, the slick roadways uh, trying to move heavy equipment around certainly hampered our operation. Hi, the CT Transit says that they will not be releasing any more information at this time. I did speak with them. They say simply because of the fact that this is under investigation, they're not going to be really saying anything about the incident. They say they may be able to release something later, but for now they say that they will be just letting police handle it. Live in West Hartford, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.